Hey y'all. So I came out to the garden. It has stopped raining for a half a minute. <laughs> and the weeds have just taken over. Pretty much thinking uh it's like the garden of weeding right now and I just got disgusted because I pulled up a whole crop of radishes, which mind you is probably only a hundred, so could be worse, but every single one of them went to bolt. They were rotted and not even formed or it was just a mess. So I continue on cleaning. Oh, and yes, my chickens did get those and, uh, my bunnies and whatever they got to eat them but I'm sitting here yes I'm sitting in the dirt and uh, technically it's manure uh, but I was sitting here just talking to God saying you know what I lost a lot in here I am NOT very proud of myself right now pretty discouraged feeling kind of sorry for myself so I started cleaning up this patch right here had some weeds in it and I was going through and I was like man I had the yummiest coolest looking cherry tomatoes last year man they were abundant they were amazing like these yellow grapey grapey looking things and like pear or some such I don't remember their names. I'm going to be real honest with you. And then these like blood red, juicy, yummy ones. And these little, anyway. And I was just like, man, such a bummer. Such a bummer. And you know, I've gone to the co-ops and the tractor supplies and all that kind of farming feeds. Still can't find any pretty bummed then I started thinking about man I really should talk to you guys about compost you know because you know I've been blessed with clay here <laughs> that's a joke unless I want to make a pizza oven anyway that's beside the fact but yeah I should talk to them about composting Man, I'm so discouraged right now. How can I ever talk about something right now? I'm just like, I don't know, crying in my milk, right? Not literally, figuratively. So I'm coming through this whole patch of grass. And I was like, man, that tree left off a lot of seeds. And then I look closer. I'm going to see if I can show you this. Right, Dale? You see what that is? That little tiny dude? These little tiny dudes right here? Do you see that? This is where those cherry tomatoes were. And there is probably about 20 little starts. All in this area 20 well played big guy well played thank you littlest tiny thing right talking about all the crap that has happened to my garden it isn't it isn't near the garden that it was last year at this time not even close I mean crying out loud look at my tomatoes everything's been eaten down multiple times just want to you know throw in the towel and tell everybody eat grass I don't care and then I find this teeny tiny small win 
to remind me God is good and uh, when you're working with get the dirt and the weather you acclimate you take the wins you learn from your loses loses mm -mm. losses that's the word <laughs> and you do the very best you can so as I'm going through this I'll show you that's where my radishes were celery's doing okay getting ready for corn all the watermelon is gone there's the tomatoes sparse Hmm, my sad little peppers. And these right here are potatoes. I threw some eyed potatoes into the ground. And they are minus the weeds. Don't look at the weeds. Nah, look at the weeds. There are their beets. Red cabbage, green cabbage. My one sorry ass little pepper. <laughs> Here's another one. There was eight eggplants here. And look, I thought they were all gone. They are trying to live. Now, all the watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew, that's gone. Sugar peas, those are gone. But over here, these were all gone. These are yellow and purple green beans. Regular green beans, they're gone, see? See, some of the stems been eaten off. Corn, all gone. But I got winds. Maybe little winds, but winds. The chickens ate good today, though. They should be pretty happy about that. So, anyway. Just wanted to remind you, even in my sorry suck ass little state, there are winds out there. You have to find them. Sometimes they come from the teeniest, tiniest little seeds. Didn't God say something about faith of a mustard seed? All right. I get it. I hope you do too. I will talk about compost. I don't want to overload everybody. But start finding your spot. Even if it's a bucket, a five gallon bucket or whatever. Get your spot in your head for compost. And we'll be talking about compost next. Okay? <sighs> Celebrate the little winds. May love, peace, and blessings fill your life. Fill your heart and share it, okay?